Today's gathering is the largest in Washington's history. In his almost 90 years, Moses Newson has seen the civil rights movement from many angles. As a reporter for the Afro-American newspaper, he last saw Dr. Martin Luther King Jr. in Atlanta three weeks before his assassination. Newson recalls interviewing King in a car speeding to the airport. His wife Coretta was there, uh, uh, Annie Young was there, and uh, Harry Belafonte was driving the car. Newson says it was a tough time for King. The FBI director, J. Edgar Hoover, was hounding him. And some civil rights leaders had begun to question if his position on the Vietnam War was hurting his civil rights leadership. King told Newsom one can't fail by taking a stand against injustice. If he listened to some of the critics, uh, uh, he wouldn't be doing what Jesus Christ did because uh, some people might have called him ineffective because uh, in the end, uh, he was crucified. He was a young man who, at 39 years old, had been preaching nonviolence. His life was taken that way. Decades later, Dr. King is remembered with a national holiday, a national monument in Washington, D.C., and many more monuments and tributes around the world. Newsom says he was a man firmly in the struggle of injustice. He was uh, a man for his times. He will never be forgotten. But I have a dream. Lisa Robinson, WBAL TV 11 News.